Slate 10, take one. So my name is Talia Wooden, I'm 22, uh, born and raised in Oxford, but I'm moving to Bristol on Monday. Um, and I'm a activist and a photographer and an aspiring filmmaker. So within activism, I'd say the causes that I'm most invested in um, is climate and environmental justice. Although I don't think that those are limited to just being about the climate and the environment. Um, I was raised by environmental activists and it was kind of something that I was um, introduced to at a very young age and so it was something that I was very passionate about and always had kind of a want to um, be involved in and yeah I mean I got involved with the climate movement as it kind of picked up uh, about three years ago um, and started organizing with groups and kind of just found my people I think I'd been aware of the climate crisis and aware of a lot of issues around that from like a very young age and had always like felt a, a real loss around it and a lot of kind of paralysis and like overwhelm around it and like not really knowing what to do and for me the climate movement came about at a really like pivotal moment because I just like moved out and I just moved to London I'd started at university and I suddenly found like a whole group of people and a whole movement of people who shared my beliefs and shared the passion that I had for fighting for change and fighting for justice. So climate and environmental justice is so important to me because I think it encapsulates so many other issues and crises that are happening across the world. I think climate action is about recognising the harm that has been caused historically and is still being caused to people and to planet and recognising the way in which dominant systems have for generations exploited people and planet and the fact that we're now really beginning to see the repercussions of that. So I think it's about justice and I think, I think it's about doing justice to that harm and to those systems and changing that so that that doesn't continue. So the way I see it is that the climate crisis has come about because of a history that has it continues to this day of hugely damaging and exploitative practices and systems and I think climate work the work that we do is about justice for all people and all non-human things that have been damaged and harmed as a result of those systems um, and so I think it's about so much more than just like the climate and the science and about trying to revoke the damage that has been done in, on a kind of scientific level but it's more about like bringing justice to all people that have been harmed as a result of oppressive systems and as a result of that like bringing justice to well just pe like people in general being bringing justice to like our communities bringing justice to our global communities and I think there's so much like humanity in that and it's it's about just fighting for a better world, not just fighting to kind of prevent the climate crisis. Um, I think the most pressing issue within the climate crisis and just kind of within any crisis that we're facing nowadays is a lack of connection. I think a lack of connection from each other, a lack of connection from the world around us, a lack of connection from what's really important in life. And I think that that goes back generations and that it's so kind of seeped into the current society that we live in that we're kind of blind to it in so many ways um, and obviously it's a result of you know very very finely tuned systems that have shaped our society over generations but I think you can see it especially kind of in younger generations in my generation we're kind of like yearning for connection we're yearning for change because everything has kind of come to a head with our generation and it's 
obvious that we're not getting things right. And I think that all comes down to our connection and our ability to kind of empathise and to connect with each other and connect with people from different backgrounds, connect from, with people on the other side of the world to us, you know, connect with like animals and the world around us and the extent to which that has been like so severed over time to the point where we can't even tell when we're causing so much harm. I mean, okay, so when I was like seven, I always used to say that when I, wanted, when I grew up, I wanted to be a Greenpeace photographer and I wanted to go on an Arctic expedition to the North Pole on the Rainbow Warrior. And like, I feel like I, you know, I kind of have mixed feelings about Greenpeace now, but that's still kind of like my childhood dream. Like that, before I die, I have to do that. But I think apart from that, like I'm not, I don't know, I don't really aspire, like I'm lucky that the work that I do doesn't feel like work for me. Well, not all the time, <laughs> but so like photography and a lot of the activism that I do, um, it doesn't feel like work. And I'm lucky that I can do that because I don't really aspire to work. Um, I think for me, like I want to be able to live in a world where I'm able to just travel and take photos of people everywhere without like feeling guilty and without worrying that, you know, half the places and the people that I want to meet and experience are like suffering or aren't gonna be there. And really I should be staying at home and trying to change that rather than traveling. I wanna be able to, I just wanna be able to take photos everywhere. That's all I wanna do. <laughs> um, but I wanna be able to, I want there to be a w world in which I can do that um, in a like responsible and safe and like sustainable way. So yeah. I think the best advice I can give is, is for kind of, for any young people out there, whether they have already have an engagement with activism or have no engagement or whatever, I think the best thing is to kind of get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Um, and I think, you know, the world that we're living in, it's getting increasingly more easy to be uncomfortable because of the amount of shit going on. Um, but I think, you know, we've, we've the, mo the majority of us, especially, you know, in the UK, have been raised kind of with a lot of privileges and not even kind of being made aware of our privileges. And a lot of those privileges you know, come at the expense of a lot of other people's like happiness and well-being. Um, and so I think it's like really important to start recognising the fact that we are very much part of that system and that a lot of change needs to happen. And for that change to happen, there's going to be a lot of really difficult work that is going to require all of us. And, you know, it is overwhelming and it is really scary, but it's also really important. And I think it's better to be honest and real with ourselves about the like the reality of the situation rather than be in denial and continue to perpetuate that harm. Um, I think find something that you can channel into your activism but you can also do for yourself that brings you joy. So like I'm really lucky that photography is that I have photography because it will always be something that I love and that I can do for myself but it can also like be contributed towards a movement and be used as a tool to create change as well um, and you know not everyone's lucky enough to have that but I think you can have that even just with your relationships with people like if you find your people like that will bring you like joy and happiness into your life as well and it will also become like a foundation from which you can like fight for something and feed into a greater movement. I think my message for the world is kind of the same as like my advice for any other young people is just get comfortable with being uncomfortable you know like I have so many friends that just say oh yeah you know we're aware of this and we kind of we know about that but we just it's just too much like I can't think about it and I'm like well just you, we've got to you know like it's such a privilege to be able to pick and choose whether we think about these issues you know and I think yeah we all need to start getting comfortable with feeling uncomfortable because that's where the real work starts. Um, 
yeah <laughs> that was it yeah that's good perfect perfect